Good morning everyone. Welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to do chapter 24 prepositions from Cornerstone. Read the sentences. What do you notice about the highlighted words? The actors danced around the trees. The tailor put a thread through the needle. The snake crawled into the basket. The mouse hid under the table. The shop beside the school is closed today. The students read the book during the class. In each of these sentences, the highlighted word shows a relation between a noun and another word in the sentence. These words show the position of the noun or pronoun or Tell us about the time or in some cases tell us about moment. The words that link nouns and pronouns to the rest of the sentence are called prepositions. Prepositions specify place, time and direction. Hence, we say that there are three types of prepositions. Prepositions of place, prepositions of time and prepositions of moment. Let us understand them better. Read these sentences. We are at the mall. The book is on the red table. The chain is in the jewelry box. The highlighted words tell us where something is. The prepositions that tell us the place or position of something are called prepositions of place. Now, read these sentences. We will be there around 6 p.m. I will be in Chennai during the weekend. The ambulance is coming within 5 minutes. The highlighted words tell us when something will happen. Prepositions that indicate when the action takes place are called prepositions of time. Now, let's read these sentences. I am going to Germany next week. The train went through the tunnel. The dog swam across the river. Here, these highlighted words show movement. Prepositions that show movement are called prepositions of moment. Now let's recap this chapter. Prepositions that tell us the place or position of something are called prepositions of place. Prepositions that tell us when something happened are called prepositions of time. Prepositions that show movement are called prepositions of movement. Now, let's move to the next chapter which is Conjunctions. Take chapter 25, Conjunctions, page number 137. The words and, but, or, because, for, not, yet, so, Although and unless help us to join words, group of words and sentences. The words that help to join words, group of words or sentences are called conjunctions. Sometimes conjunctions are also used in pairs. For example, you can either take an auto or a bus. He can neither read nor not write. Maya cannot only sing but also dance well. The conjunctions either or, no sooner than, hardly when, neither nor, not only but also, both and, also go together. Sometimes a conjunction is made up of more than one word. For example, she looks as if she is ill. You can sleep peacefully as long as the children don't arrive. Will you inform me in case you hear anything? 
Yasmin along with her children is arriving today. The conjunctions so that in order that even if as if as long as in case as well as as though provided that as soon as only if etc are used together. Now let's recap the chapter. A conjunction is a joining word that joins words, group of words or sentences together. Conjunctions connect part of a sentence together. For example, I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I only like them with strawberry jelly. So that's how I make them. Other conjunctions are found in pairs. Not only do I like sandwiches, but also like milkshakes. I like milkshakes too. Conjunctions can also be transition words. Here how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First add peanut butter, then add some jelly. Finally put it all together. Great now. Can we make grilled cheese? Now let's move to the next chapter. Chapter 26 Interjunctions What is an interjunction? Interjunction is a part of speech that expresses emotion. An interjection is one of the nine parts of speech. An interjection is a short word or phrase that shows emotions. It often stands alone, unconnected to a sentence. Typical interjections are a, uh, a, uh, hey, ouch, um, my god, bloody hell. And there are some other interjections in context. Hey, don't be so lazy. Well, Let's think about it. Ouch, that hurts. Lima is the capital of Ur Peru. Interjections are not normally used in formal writing, but they are common in speech and therefore in formal and fiction writing. Where they show emotions such as anger, surprise and interest as well as convey hesitation. Interjections are frequently followed by an exclamation mark, which itself is used to express emotion. Take a look at the table to understand the use of interjections. Page number 144. Interjections. Yippee, hooray, bravo, wow. Stands for happiness and gladness. Ho, O, alas, ah, ouch, stands for sadness and pain. Alas, O, oh dear, stands for grief, pity. Ha, hi, hello, ho, dear me, well, stands for surprise and greeting. Hum, a, uh, m, mm, stands for hesitation. Hey stands for calling attention. A uh, yuck stands for disgust. I hope everyone understood this chapter. Let's recap. Words that are added to a sentence to convey emotions are called interjections. They are not grammatically related to the rest of the sentence. When written, interjections are usually followed by an exclamation mark. Interjections are small words that express the emotions of the speaker. This is all for today. Stay safe. Stay home. Thank you.